Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing something a little bit different. I um, went to Nashville, Robert and I went to Nashville in November, right? Yeah, November to participate in Bolo Buddies Ben's Bingo um, and we recorded, y'all know how I am with the whole recording, um, with the GoPro in the bins. So I'm going to share some of that, but I'm going to do a voiceover, which is the first time I've ever done that before because the music was really, really loud in there. So I'm, we're going to attempt this, but we're not going to use the GoPro anymore because I'm only five feet tall and those bins are tall and it just seemed like the camera was basically in the bins. Um, way up close and you don't really get to see a big picture but we're going to go ahead and use this footage share with you some of the stuff that I picked up some of my thoughts while I was picking the things that I did now remember a lot of time I spent um, looking for the things um, for the Benz Bingo so um, and and we only took a small vehicle so I, I had to be picky I had to be pickier than normal so using the camera sounds like it's the really lame excuse not to wear the GoPro that you don't like to wear. Exactly. So we bought these little nifty things. I have to show you guys this. We're going to put our camera, our phones in this when we go to the bins. We're actually going to the bins tomorrow in Asheville. And we're going to record with our phones. That way I can be back a little bit and show you bigger pictures. Um, How are you going to hold your phone tomorrow? I'm going to hold it the right way, or at least I say I'm going to. And what would the right way be? Landscape. Landscape. Absolutely wrongly is what's going to happen tomorrow. Though. I know. I'm going to be doing shorts. <laughs> All right. So let's try this. Let me know in the end, in the comments, how you like this. And I still like doing my regular hauls right here because I can show you more. I can talk about the stuff more. I, you know, I can read the labels, but I think just for a little change up and to use the footage since I had it anyway, we're going to just go with the flow, right? Ben's footage also requires a lot more video editing time. Four hours today I spent just cutting so that it wasn't this, because we were there hours. And it, it, it's down to like 30 minutes. All right. Here I am heading into the bins. Y'all, it was very, I don't know. It looked like the bins had been picked over and sat there for days. So it's really slow here in the beginning. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, the second day is when I got a lot of my treasures. But I did want to show you guys this stuff. I picked up this Russ Little Bear Christmas you know, I'm not going to get a whole lot for it, but I had to save him. I love Russ. Now, I pick up tons and tons of the Imaginext and Hasbro little figures, which I'll make lots up. I just grabbed this to look at it. It ended up not being anything I really wanted. Um, but I just showing... Wait, that looked like a phone back there. How do you all test those phones? If you buy phones... How do you test them? Because I don't know anybody with a landline. No, nope. we've got that ALF listed right now, untested. Now you can see I picked up some little people. I bought a bunch of little people. I looked at some of those and there weren't any good comps for that learning center stuff at all, which I thought there would have been, but maybe it's just too old. There's some more of the Hasbro figures. I'm just kind of digging around looking at stuff like I said I was really picky about what I was picking up because we drove my Civic here so normally I feel a trailer when I go to the bins and there's my pitiful cart I mean you guys can see look how close I am because I'm so short now I think I pick up a couple of them those are the CPK dolls here I'm pulling up the Ben's Bingo card to re-familiarize myself with everything I need to be picking up. So I'm standing here studying, but I'm also digging, trying to do several things at once. But the phone's away. They had they played good music there, but it we would have had loud. 38 copyright strikes in the first yeah. couple hours if we let this audio go. Yep. But 
if you guys can see, it was just chocked full with a lot of junk. Now, there's old Oscar. I do get him. I think that's Ilko. I'll pick up a lot of the Ilko stuff. Oh, I think I used that in the Ben's Bingo footage, but maybe not. It might have been my electronic or my battery toy. It I can't not. remember. Oh, we went through so many different ch choices for that. But it worked, as you can see. I think you used SpongeBob for that. Oh, maybe. No, that's Eden. I don't think it's anything grand. I didn't see any comps for it, but I loved it anyway. And like I said, lots and lots of little people. That one is Lil Playmates. Not sure if I grabbed it or not. But you're about to come see what I love to find. Look, vintage little people. Lots of pieces. I ended up finding quite a bit of little people, vintage and otherwise, but I haven't even started listing them yet. That's the garage door to the vintage main street. And look, more little people stuff. Look, y'all, that's not my cart. <laughs> so the guy's like, and then I realize, well, I'm going to go get my own cart. I don't know why I didn't drag it over there. I think he was kind of sort of blocking the way. There's another Eden plush. I'm still digging around. Let's see, there's some little people and the bus. That's a nice find. I think I have a different one listed. Still holding stuff. Oh, look, more vintage little people. Look. Don't tell me, little people. <laughs> I've bought so much. Probably the entire bottom of an IKEA bag full. I love finding this brand. This is Garanimals. Just very cute. There's a, a dog and some other ones. I don't think I picked that up, and I'm not quite sure why I didn't. Advertising plush, I figured you would have. I know, but I don't think I did. I've gone through a lot of it. I did not grab that. That's one of those, I think, from the five below or something. But I did grab this. That's Mattel Emotions. Had to save him. Guess what? Poor little people. Here's Robert. This is what happens when Robert brings me stuff. Watch. I picked that up because it said Madeline. Mad it said Madeline. <laughs> By discard. Oh, I did use this in the Bins Bingo and it sold immediately for $19.95. So I was thrilled. Vintage Walmart Nativity. Now all of that is the Lego Duplo train tracks. Um, you'll end up seeing a whole bunch of it here in a second. He's laying it down. They were short on carts. She got a cart, but I didn't get one. Yeah, he carried that little white basket around. But you'll see all kinds of the Duplos there. You lock those up, I assume, right? I do. I do. Hopefully, when I finally get to them, that they actually make a complete circle. Because otherwise, I may sell them in smaller lots because, you know, then somebody's still going to have to go buy something else. But that little Green Lantern guy just doesn't sell as well as the others. Not at all. Not at all. But you can just see I'm going through his. There's a lot in there that I did not keep, including all of these games. You never know about those old games. Some of them are worth a chunk, and some of them just aren't worth even laying your hand on to look at. You can't tell. I lay that down. That's um, How to Train Your Dragons, but the wing had been broken off, so I just didn't want to mess with it. I did get that Giggle Bunny. Otherwise, that uh, Night Fury is a really good Very up, good to pick up. Look, 
Lots of smalls. I bought tons. Squishmallow. Pretty sure I got that. But don't remember. I'm seeing it go in towards the cart. <laughs> You're going to see this carried all over. It was missing its tail. There's a white thing at the top to block out some kids. Oh, I was wondering what that's from. It was missing its tail. I carry it around almost the entire video, and then I, I didn't keep it. If he was in good shape, he could be worth like 20 to $30. Right. I just didn't want to bother with the missing tail. I'm getting more of the Duplos out. And then that's a little VTech Go Smart Mickey. I usually try to find the um, and put these in lots. There's a Donald and Daisy and Mick Minnie. Is that the one you do in sets of two to keep them? A lot out of pound, times, under yes. A pound? Mm -hmm. Are we going to keep them in there? Yes. I had a really great idea, but to what to do with these trophies, but no. Rebel, Rebel doesn't like it so well, so we'll have to uh, put that off to another time when I can convince her. And they were heavy. And we discussed it, and I nixed the idea, and we forgot to get them out of our cart. So we paid way more than I expected for these glass trophies. But I'm finishing up with his little tote he brought me here. I don't think I kept anything else out of there. I, gra I did grab... I grabbed several of those movies uh, for us to watch, for... RJ and me to watch things that we would enjoy. But yes, we don't like putting children in the videos. So as soon as I get out of range, yeah, somebody else is here digging in my bin. Do you guys wear gloves? I don't wear gloves because I have found that a lot of times stuff is damp and I don't want to buy it and not realize it's damp and then I don't always get to stuff right away and it will mildew in a bag of stuff. Or you will take some gross item that's got some sort of liquid on it mm -hmm. and put it on a very nice vintage hundred dollar plush. Right. Without knowing it. So I do not wear gloves but I know some people who do. And if we grab something gross we just go to the bathroom and wash our hands. Yes. This was Jimmy. I haven't listed it yet. I actually have the boy one also, and I, I, I need to figure out if they work. But definitely a nice pickup. But this whole air, this whole bin was a lot of Christmas stuff. But again, it was just messy, messy. We didn't get here at the beginning of the day, so by the time we got here, it had been well picked over, and they just didn't move stuff out a lot. I was going to get this bag, and it was full of magnets. I don't know if I should have picked up the magnets. Um, it was the, the, the you could form words with. Has anybody done well with them? I, I, went ahead, I was going to leave them, but then I realized the bag itself was very damaged, so I didn't pick it up. But there was a lot of magnets. But you can see the bottom. Well, you guys can't see, but the bottom was very damaged. But how cute was that? It had been taped back together, I think. Yes. I didn't realize it till then. Whole lot of stuff. Playmobil. Again, I picked up so much. Is we stayed we stayed way too long here because they weren't moving out the bins as quickly as I hoped. So a, a lot of the footage that I ended up deleting was just me going back and checking myself two and three times. Um, we should have just gone on. There's a second bins there in Nashville. I'm not sure why I didn't pick that up, but I didn't. Probably should have. You were being picky. I was being picky, especially with the with the plush, because they do. Now, I should have picked this up. I did not realize it was Minecraft at all. 
I just dropped it, but as you can see with the comp, I should have Webkins. I don't like Webkins. There are some that are what that do really well, like the dogs, but no. And those are the ones you have to worry about having the, the active code, right? Yes. But you'll see me look at things. I don't normally even consider ties, but I was doing the bins bingo. Now this, if it had been in better shape, I would have grabbed it in a heartbeat. But it had lots of issues, and I just decided no. And it was missing the back. I think there's footage later on. I think I clipped it out, though. Um, Robert ends up bringing this to me again, and I do it back in the bins. She expects me to know what she's picked up and not bring it to her a second time, even though I wasn't anywhere near her. I'm supposed to have some sort of psychic ability. Now these, definitely pick them up still if you find them at yard sales and thrift stores and everywhere, because I've already sold that one for 16 and I found the Hamburglar, and he sold also within a day or two of listing them. Build-A-Bear, I grabbed them, but they don't do very well for me. You could tell... Something was up with him, so I don't think I picked him up. He had strings hanging. I think something was wrong with him. Because, well, I may have... No, yeah. See, my finger just went in the back of his head. I got to quit buying stuff that needs repaired. Now, I spend a few minutes looking at this because, again, I was looking for something for kitchen or garage or whatever to fill in the bins bingo. And I'll take out my phone here and scan it. And there were no sold comps. So I just decided not to get it. That was for a refrigerator or something? I have no clue. I never did. It didn't scan on the barcode, and I wasn't going to take the time. But some of the parts you can get for refrigerators and dishwashers can sell for good money. I grabbed this. This was my, I think, new item or something for the bins. Bingo. It wasn't the new one. You used the darts for that, I think. Oh, that's true. Maybe other holiday. But you can just, these bins are very empty. And so random. Book, it's like people discarded stuff in there. I don't know why I left, oh, right there. Some more smalls that was um paw patrol but you'll see when this when we're done here my carts got hardly anything in it i didn't grab this it was just a no-name brand clock so i just i left it but i did grab the paw patrol and and then i get into these bins i never mess with the the bags and stuff, but I was looking for stuff, but I did see this. I've actually picked up a couple of them. Those are the ugly dolls, but y'all, I have arthritis pretty bad in my hands, so you're going to see me <laughs> take forever to get this clip off. It's sad, but I like picking ugly dolls up, but there's a couple of them that are only worth a couple of dollars, so definitely check your comps. But finally, released. But I keep digging through it. There were a lot of vintage snapbacks, and we do pick up a few of them. But they're slow movers for me, so I'm, I'm a little bit more particular. And I think there's a few I might have missed getting that I probably should have. We, d we don't have a lot of snapbacks either. No, so. but I do pick them up on occasion. It's one of those, if you have enough of them, they will sell continually for you, but you have to have enough inventory. I would have loved to pick that up, but there was writing on the front, so I didn't. But look how cute the vintage stocking. I'm sure there's others out there saying right now, no, you should have grabbed it. And probably, but at the time, I didn't. But that, see, that security hat. Are those allowed to be sold on eBay? I don't. I don't know. I don't see why it couldn't be. 
I think Robert grabs his hat. Yes. No, I think. It was Orvis' hat. Yes. But these have been very much picked over. But yeah, some of these were just rough. But you know what? For a large bins, it was kind of nice and organized. You know, you had your clothing area, and then you had your, your bags and stuff, and shoes. And I, I thought it, for as large as it is, it's very organized. Had you been to the fight yet here? No, I left the fight out, y'all. As soon as I got there, two men got into a fight because one man wanted to dig through the entire wanted to dig through the entire bin by himself and another guy was not having anything to do with it. Sorry. I had my timer going off. But it wasn't a physical fight. No, they were just arguing. It was screaming though. It was screaming. So I, I moved away. But again, trying to look for shoes here. I think Robert ends up just picking up anything. Now, I'm wondering if I should have grabbed that hat. Yes, you should have. I didn't. I saw comps for about 20 bucks. I know. I should have. That's why I left it in here because all, we all miss stuff, especially when, well, for me, it's hard because I don't look in these bins normally. But look at that. That was Shanana. I'm pretty sure. And no, I didn't get it either. But I probably should have. I yeah. didn't see any comps for it, though. Is that the band from... They had the TV so. show back in the 70s or whatever. I think so. Big mistake right there, I think. There were hardly anything on eBay for Shanana. Now I'm looking for the book. I end up finding it here in a second. And it, it was good. It was homeschool curriculum, which I'm always on the look for. But I didn't dig through these very much. I found my book and, and moved on. But the book's... And again, just these were packed, but right next to it is where the fight was going on, which they're not there right now. But right here's the book I pick up, and I've got it listed for about 60 something, I think. We don't normally do very well with books from the bins. We just, mm -hmm. unless it's homeschool curriculum, it's usually been picked over pretty hard. Yep. messy bin okay i'm showing you guys this because this becomes my friend for the rest of the trip i held on to that hand and he's in my car now for the next trip because i'm short i needed it to be reaching for stuff that's manhattan toys it's a very good brand but the dinosaurs don't sell very well i think i only listed it for a you know seven eight bucks i didn't buy a whole lot of plush you know how that affected me. I bought this, but I don't remember the brand. That's the problem with, you know, when I do my hauls for you guys, I can read the tags to you. And it helps me when I'm doing my comps because I've read the tags to you. Get that green mouse. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got alarms going off all over the place. Those are scramble squares. It's a nine piece puzzle. I always grab them. Unfortunately, this one had writing on it. I still listed it, but didn't go for as much as I would have hoped for. Somebody actually solved. Look, little people. Somebody had written the numbers to put them in order. But I'm just, as you can see, they were just messy. But there's my, my new wand. Because Robert goes off and does his own thing. I go out to the car and sleep. No, he does not. He's Usually he's over in the clothes looking for jeans and stuff for us to sell. I go through all the, I go through all the other bins first. And then I wander over there to see if there's anything that people missed in the clothes. And there, there's usually something. All right, y'all. I had one of those moments. This is a viewer who recognized me and we started chatting. So thank you so much, DC Renegade. I'm so awkward 
when it happens, but it was very nice chatting with you. I tried to get around to her to talk a little bit more, but I got blocked off, and by the time I got all the way back around to where she was, she had already moved on somewhere else, and I never did find her again. But, yeah, we were chatting here for a few minutes. So, it, I've always struggle meeting people. So you're terrified about talking to people? I am. Y'all, I'm very shy. You, most people would never have thought that I would do this, make videos, because I am super introverted, shy. So. She's actually had people think that she was a very cranky, mean, grouchy, hateful person. Because I'm so shy, I don't talk. And then once they get to know her, they're like, oh, so you're just shy? Which is funny, which is why I was a really good teacher. I could play with the kids, but man, I didn't like all the other stuff that teachers had to do. Uh, I did pick the, I, you know, I should have looked for some more of these because they might have been good in a bulk, but it was called Quirkles. I thought it was interesting. Again, I was looking for something new. I don't think it sold for very much, but just something else. I'm always looking. I never did find a really good, like, craft or anything for the Ben's Challenge. But I think that would have been a better choice than what I ended up with. See, I'm still carrying that action figure thingy. And here comes Robert with his tote of stuff. And here you go. Throw it away, Toss. throw it away, throw it away. <laughs> and I think this is the point maybe where he brings me. Yeah, look. Toss. Toss. Meth Lab Barbie. Yes. I don't, I don't, I may have kept that. It's Barbie and it had some Barbie accessories in it. A little cooler. But unfortunately, because I'm short, all you guys are seeing is the low version of the picture of everything that's happening, but there's everything getting tossed. There's a few things I do keep. It's how she treats my heart. She just grabs it and chucks it aside. <laughs> oh, I think he ends up showing me the, what was that thing? The cable thing. I think that's in there somewhere. Yeah, it was like a cable signal amplifier or something. I still haven't listed it. It's used. How do you test something like that? I guess I can list it untested. You just but, leave this in here. Have you thrown away all that stuff so you could mock me? Yes, is that, basically. Is that why that's here? Mm -hmm. There it is. But look how pitiful my cart is. This is sad. Look how few items. But we do end up going to the other bins. And I do find quite a bit there. So... Uh, Hopefully, I'll get another one of these put together for you guys. Here, I'm back to looking at the bins list, seeing which one of those it might fall under, and then I'm looking up what it is. Because Robert said, oh, new, it sells for $60, but I got to look for myself. That is the good thing about us doing this together, is that I can look for different things that she would never even consider. Never. And pick that up for probably... A dollar and sell it for it's probably you know worth 20 or 25 dollars used and just finding different things that she wouldn't take the time to because she would look at the things she knows at a, at a yard sale and then move on to the next yard sale i could look at different things and bring in different niches or things that would never be found did you buy that buffet thing there for us or am i reselling that i don't even know where that is I thought it was going to be your kitchen thing for a while for the Ben's Bingo. Oh, I bet you that's something good. Because look at that chrome. Take off that foil. Hopefully it's not too dirty. I'm throwing Duplos in there. I always buy Duplos and then I lot them up at some, some point. Oh, these were neat. These were some kind of like a different type of Viewmaster thing. True View. True View. And they had the rights to Disney, to Disney products. And they were bought out by Viewmaster at some point so that Viewmaster could have the rights to Disney also. 
it's getting to the point now where I don't find a whole lot more. I would have bought this, but it just had a whole lot of condition issues. But it was like a vintage um, toddler type transformer. Now see, these were the pants I ended up picking up. I can't find anything like them. They're Fat Farm, but watch when I flip the back around. Most of the ones that are listed on eBay had like plain pockets or one pocket has the embroidery. But it was just randomly thrown in one of these bins, but it was very neat. I haven't gotten to them yet, though. And then back in the bags. I know I've already been through this one once, but I do think I find a couple of a couple of more hats. Yeah, the San Francisco Giants hat, the visor. I don't think I listed it for very much, but it was it was a good find. And some other reason why he can torment me when I don't know what what team it is or what even sport it is. I said the San Francisco Padres at first, but Yes, you did. I did, but it's San Diego. Padres. Padres. I lived in California, San Diego, but wasn't there very long. Just some more footage from the the bags. I think at some point I realize that I'm not going to be finding much more here. So I did pick that. I think it was Harlem Wizards. I didn't find anything like them. But I still don't think it was a big bolo. I think they are similar to the Harlem Globetrotters. It's a, like a demo basketball team. I guess that was it. I guess that's it. Yay. How'd you guys like it? Do you want something more like this? Spread it, sprinkle it in with all the other ways that I do it. Because I personally like the hauls here. Because I can show you more. I like them because it's a whole lot less editing time. A whole lot less Actually, editing. Actually, I didn't spend too much editing time on this. You spent a lot I editing this stuff out because... way too much on this and didn't get to process as much stuff as I did. And y'all, you know, I need to be processing stuff. So, but let me know in the comments. Do you want more like this? Let's like this. Um, did you enjoy still the, the, the tag teaming conversations? I told him, I was like, I'm not going to sit down here and talk by myself. I still need you to come talk to me, talk with me. All right. Bye.